What's up YouTube, Bisa here. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 1 to work on your Windows 11 or Windows 10. Now, I know that there is a lot of problems going on with the GOG version and the Steam version not being there because they're updating the games now and they're re-releasing them as remastered editions. But if you have the original games, you can actually fix them by doing these steps below. Now, disclaimer, I'm not gonna offer any image files or any installations of the game. You're gonna have to get that yourself, but the patches and the fixes I'm gonna leave down in the description below and the links to every website that I'm gonna talk about today. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to be explaining as if I was going to install the CD-ROM version of the game. Now, the reason why I'm doing the CD-ROM version of the game is because you need to do one specific step extra in that CD-ROM version of the game. The Steam and GOG versions of the game already come patched with 1.2 patch, and that's what we're going to do, and that's what we're going to explain in this video. So what we're going to do is, after we install, you install the game normally, you run the setup, install the game normally and what you're gonna do is you're going to go into a place called the lost worlds uh, i'm gonna give you again the link in the description below and you're gonna download patch 1.2 as you can see here patch 1.2 you download it you extract it and what you're gonna do is extract it into the folder that you install the game to update the game do not run the game yet. We're going to keep fixing this game. The second step you're going to do is after you download the patch 1.2, you're going to then download the unofficial Soul Reaver patch for XP and Vista. I know it's Windows 11, but we're not going to use either XP or Vista compatibility because they don't work. So what you're going to do is once you download this, you extract the cane2.exe into the installation folder, I have the GOG version, but the CD-ROM version will look similar with the exception of not having none of the videos. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into the cane2.exe, you're gonna go to properties, compatibility, run this program in Windows 7 and run the program as an administrator, apply and click OK. We are not done yet. And this is where nothing changes for any of the versions. You can have the Steam version, the GOG version, or the CD-ROM version, but the CD-ROM version won't play for some reason, the FMVs. So just ha just keep that in mind. So if you can find the GOG version for a cheap price, then you can get it, but they no longer offer this game in the Steam client because obviously they're going to bring the remastered version back. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why companies keep doing this. Um, but anyways... After you're done with that, we're not done. We're going to go into a Steam discussion. I'm going to give you the link down in the description below, but that's it. You're going to have to follow these steps because the user of the Steam client does not want this file shared anywhere else but the Steam discussion. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Steam discussion and it, it looks like something like this. I'll leave it in the description down below. And then after you click on this, you go into the bottom here where it says Soul Reaver Enhanced Edition and you click on it. It'll give you a link to his guides. And in the guide, it gives you the list of fixes that he has on this patch. And at the bottom, he'll have link and installation. And this is the Google download that you need to do to download this file. I will not share this. I will respect the user, but you can download it through there. And then what you're going to do is once you download the file, you're going to extract the file. And in the folder, it's going to have a couple of files. These files, you're going to have to copy. Make sure you back up everything and have it on a different folder. And you click on this and copy. And then you paste the contents into the video. Now, notice how the intro video is written with zero. You're going to have to remain, rename that into the original intro and it'll play. You feel what I'm saying? So now that we're done with that and we're done with the compatibility stuff, 
you can finally click on the game through the exit file that you just enhanced after you applied the unofficial patch. You click on it and boom, here's the game. Now, I'm using a PS5 controller. Now watch this. This has New Game Plus. This has compatibility for PS5 and Xbox Series XS uh, controllers. Um, in the options, you can control the gamepad, you can do the video configuration, the sound and stuff like that. And you can click on new game, it'll play. You can skip with start. You, did not survive you can skip everything in this. You are... Skip the, you can skip everything. And now you're in the game and the game officially runs just like it was back in the days or in Windows XP. So we're gonna run a little bit so you can see that everything works. You can actually turn with the analogs and everything like that. So this is a good patch for everybody that wants to play that wants to play the game with the original while still keeping some enhancements and getting the game to run on Windows 11 or Windows 10. Now, if you follow the steps to let me know that that worked and please press a like so that the algorithm can fix this video and it can reach as many people as possible that want to play this game and relieve their childhood. So I guess this is it for today. I'm glad I'm able to help the many people with this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.